Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer here and I am coming to you today to do a project share. And this is for a group swap that I participated in that is being hosted by Tamika, who we all know at Scrap the World. Um, this is a binder, um, a binder mail swap where we were doing traveler size and, um, so yeah, this was a um, group of three. So we were to make two and we will receive two. And um, of course, you know, um, I made one for Tamika. So um, let me start with uh, what the requirements were. It was to be a um, four by eight insert. And um, it was, this is a Disney theme um, swap as well. So we had to choose um, anything that pertained to Disney and um, and then we were to include include a journal entry to why we chose um, what we did. So this um, so this is my insert here and I will share it in a bit. And then we were to include a set of four embellishments and then one store-bought goodie. So um, let me share really quick my embellishments. I decided to make butterflies. Um, and so this is a new die that I got from Spellbinders, um, their sale that they, their warehouse sale. So this is a new die for me. And this is the smallest die. They had three of them and this was the smallest one in that one. So I just layered it up. Actually, I'm sorry. This the silver part is not, the silver part is a die um, a set of three butterflies um, that were very, very intricate. And um, this I got from, I believe, AliExpress. Had it in my stash forever. But the the bigger part is the Spellbinders die. And then I just added some gems and um, alternated them. So I have two blue and then two just the regular rhinestone colors. And then I used that... Um, that snow mesh tool that we get from the Dollar Tree and it's blue and the butterfly, um, the bigger butterfly is actually, um, let me take it out so you, I can show you guys. It is um, white glitter cardstock that I got from, from Hobby Lobby. So let me show you guys how it's layered. So I have the, the white cardstock there with the blue tool. And this is a couple of layers of blue, I think. Yeah, it's just two layers. Um, and then the silver. So I think it came out really nice. I think they're very, very pretty, um, very elegant looking to me. So, um, so yeah, so there's that. And then um, for the store-bought goodie, I got um, those pin cushions that some of us are finding at the Dollar Tree. So um, I thought that was really cute to add in. And of course I got the blue and these bags that I'm putting them in. They're like that, um, what is it? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what this is considered, but it's like the, the tablecloths that we can find at Walmart and um, you know what? I don't even know where else, but yeah, it's a little drawstring bag and this came from the Dollar Tree as well. And when I saw the blue, I thought that would be really neat to pick up and put that in as well and add that in. And so this is my insert and I just love, love, love the way it came out. So it says a dream is a, um, a dream is, is a wish your heart makes, which is, you know, one of the songs. And I have it layered up. Um, I have this pink polka dot paper that I got from Hob uh, no, not Hobby Lobby, um, Joann's. And what I did is I just folded it in half and left the top open and just glued the, the side and the bottom to create a pocket. And inside here, I have my um, journal insert, um, my journal entry. And, um, 
So I chose, um, let me read it really quick. It says, I chose Cinderella because it's all my all-time favorite as well as my oldest daughter's. In fact, my daughter would sit and watch Cinderella over and over again when she was when she was only two. I think she was even younger than two. Um, and then when she got a little older, she would ask me, what is my favorite Disney movie? And when I would say Cinderella, she would get upset and told me it was her favorite, so it couldn't be mine too. And so then Cinderella is special to me because I can vividly remember when I was about three years, three years old. Um, it came on one Sunday night on the Magical World of Disney, which was on ABC um, out here in California. Um, on, well, ABC everywhere. But um, so it came on a Sunday night and um, I remember being excited to watch it and my mom making it a special movie night. Um, I remember as I got a little older and thinking back on that night, how I felt very special because two of my older cousins, who were boys, sat and watched a movie with me. And I tell you, that really made me feel special that they did that with me. So um, Cinderella is also special um, for me because my my first, um, for my first birthday, my mother had a Cinderella party for me. I don't remember it, but she kept the beautiful cake toppers, which was a Cinderella figurine and it was um, the coach, and um, it was just so pretty. And um, just over the years, I can remember till I was like the age of nine, um, still having it and pulling it out and playing with it. But it was a, a keepsake that she kept for me, and um, I just loved it. So um, that's why another reason why Cinderella is special to me. And then... Um, and then last but not least, as my um, oldest got old enough to start doing chores, she would go around singing the song, um, wash the dishes, do the mopping and the sweeping and the dusting. They always keep her hopping. And um, she would always say she felt like poor Cinderella. And I could only laugh for I knew the feeling, the feeling all too well. As, as I grew up, I never related it to Cinderella, but as I grew up, I felt like I was um, my mother's slave because I had to do a lot of cleaning and um, caring for my younger sisters. So this is the Cinderella castle. I'm sorry. And, um, you know, I sewed it together and then like I made a little booklet out of it. So um, that goes in the pocket here. And then, of course, um, you know, I made it into a shaker, but with the the castle in it, it's like pushing it so it's not shaking all that well. But um, I cut this out on my Cricut. I got this um, the Cinderella silhouette off of, I believe just, I, I, I don't remember if it was Pinterest, but it was a free image and I it was a free SVG image and I just cut it out on my Cricut and I cut out the shooting stars and added the stars. And I have a little pink ruffle here with silver, silver star trim that I got from Amazon. And then I have the gems going around. And then the back, I just created some pockets by tearing the paper. And this is the garden party paper and then just a pink piece of cardstock. And then I just created an interactive element with the star there. And um, if I have time, I probably am going to try and see if I can cut out some other images. This is another, um, another Cinderella image that I got for free. And um, so I cut that out and they can use it to journal on the back of it or even add a little picture on the back of it if they want. And then um, this is actually the inside of this. Um, the back side is blue, so this was the blue. And I originally cut it out in silver. I wanted this to be silver, but um, it wasn't. It wasn't coming out good, so I changed my whole um, color scheme there. And so these are the inserts. The in. Um, inside of that and thought I would add that as well so they can journal or add a picture on the back of that. So yeah, so this is what I have and 
Um, I just hope you guys really like what I created because I really do. And I also stitch and got a little wonky going around. I'm, I'm just learning. So I kind of did a little boo-boo there, but you know what? It gives it character. And then, um, I also, um, added the star trim on the side here and then the gems on the side, on each top of the pockets and the bottom. So yeah, I really like the way it came out. And again, I hope you guys are inspired by what I created. And until next time, I just hope everybody stays healthy and safe. And may God bless. Bye-bye.